Okay everybody, here's a video um, I'm going to post on how to install. This is the My Hero um, ROM for the HTC Magic. Um, and I have the uh, Rogers Canadian version of the HTC Magic, which is the 32A uh, chipset in, uh, inside. And the um, reason why I'm posting this is because I have uh, re previously posted this video um, that was um, a previous, an older version of the HTC ROM. Um, the Hero ROM, um, and I had this one, uh, the, this older version, running on my on my phone for a while, and it, it was functional. I mean, it's the it's the Fatality Hero ROM, um, and it was functional, but it's not quite. Uh, there seems to be s s really subtle delays, like little lags in it. So I recently installed this version called My Hero, and uh, I'll show you that actually right now on the phone. <laughs> So um, this version of the ROM is much faster. There's no there's no delay. There's no lag, um, and there's a couple other little minor bug fixes that were uh, addressed as well, like um, Bluetooth, some Bluetooth functionality, and and um, yeah. So th this version I would say is much better, much more, uh, much smoother, much more interactive, and um, and that's why I'm posting this video now so that I can show you how to. Uh, So I can show you how to install this um, new updated version, so that um, you know you can get the more recent stuff. So the first um, first part of this is going to be to install. <clears throat> first thing we're going to need to do is download these three files. So let me show you those. Uh, this is the first one. It's the Android SDK. So this is the full um, software development kit for um, for Android. Let's get the link up there. So then. With this, you can basically write any software that you want for the Android package. Um, we're not going to use, we're going to use almost none of it really. We're just going to use what's required to install the ROM. So, um, but we need you to get that, grab that file. Um, I'll be putting all this information in the sidebars so that you can read it there. So that's the first one is the Android SDK. That's pretty big. I think it's like 100 megs or something. So we need to grab that first. And then the next file that we want is this um, My Hero 1.1.3 zip file. And that's the link for that. So we've got to grab that file. And then we have to download um, this thing here, which is the recovery image. Um, that's uh, basically a boot environment that lets us load our, uh, lets us load this, um, the, the ROM file into the phone. So we need that. So we basically just need those three files. So um, I'll show you that I have pasted those three files here. Uh, let me just get there. So this is on my computer, so this is on the C drive. And then in uh, I put it inside HTC Android files. You can, you can put it wherever you want. And then there's the three files that I need to download. So the Android SDK, you have to extract that package. So I have uh, WinRAR on my machine, so I can just extract. But even with Win, if you had WinZip or or anything, even if you um, just opened it with Windows Explorer, and then just drag that folder right here into the original, that will just extract all the files out of it. Um, as, I, as I said, I already got, I already have it extracted, so I'm good there. <coughs> so I'll go back to my steps, and the next step is to, uh, after I've extracted the zip file, I'm going to put the HTC Magic uh, plug it in. So just plug in the USB cable. The first time you plug in, <coughs> the first time you plug the phone in, it's going to um, ask you to install a USB driver. So you do want to do that. Uh, Windows is going to recognize it as a new device. You're going to want to install the driver, with the USB driver that's inside of this SDK. So if you go inside the SDK. And you go inside there. Let's put down here. There's a there's a directory called USB driver. And then depending on if you're AMD64, I happen to be. So here's the actual driver. So you're gonna want to install that. The first time you plug in the, the magic, I mean it's sort of a normal thing, but it's inside the SDK, so you do want to install that. Um, 
after you have the USB driver installed, you're going to um, you're going to mount the uh, the phone onto the computer, and you're going to copy this file, the the My Hero uh, zip file that we downloaded from above. So this is the link. You're going to get the zip file, which I happen to have in the folder here. So this file needs to go onto the phone, into the phone, the SD card on the phone. So the reason, the way to do that is to um, mount the phone onto the computer and then just drag and drop it over. So now that I, now that I have the phone plugged in, I'll just come back here. So now that I've uh, have the phone plugged in, I can pull down this and I can say I want to do this. I want to do uh, USB connect and then I want to mount. Once I do that, then if I go back to the computer, I'll be able to, it'll pop a window. Windows will pop a window. I'm just going to continue without scanning it. So here it is, open the folders. So this is the SD card inside the phone. And if I scroll to the bottom, here is my My Hero ROM 1.3.zip. And the way I got it on there was once it's mounted, I just picked it up and dragged it over. So that's already copied, it's already good. I also happen to have the, <coughs> the old version of the Hero ROM on there. Uh, this one just had some um, Bluetooth audio, wasn't working, but everything else is about the same. So we do want this, so this is the updated version, 1.1.3. So I've copied that file onto the phone. It's pretty big. It's uh, 111 megs. So it takes a little while to copy it over. Once I get that file onto the phone, I can go to the next step. So the next step is some command line tools here. So I want to copy and paste. I want to copy and paste the file. Um, first thing I want to do is copy and paste that image file that I downloaded above. And I want to put it into the tools folder of the SDK. So I'll show you where that folder is. So here's where I extracted my SDK. Go in there, go in the Android SDK, and then there's a tools folder here. Go inside the tools folder, and then what I need inside of here is this file, the recovery image file. So I should already have it in here. Let's see. Yeah, so there it is. So the way I got it in there was same thing, just go to the C drive Let's go back so here's where the three files I needed to download are there's the recovery so I just copy it and then I can just paste it in here edit paste it's already in there so I don't need to do it now so once I have the recovery image file inside the folder uh, next thing is to start run CD into the folder and then I'm going to um, drag and drop the tools folder into the window and press enter. So I'll just do that now. So I'll start run CMD CMD so there's that and now CD space and then I'm going to need to find the tools folder, just here, drag that on there, hit enter, there. So now, in my shell, I'm inside that folder, and if I go dirt, I list all the contents of the folder, and one of the files in the folder is the image file, same as here. Go inside the tools folder, if I scroll this down, there's the image file. So that's good. So next step is paste this line into the window. So I need to copy this into the clipboard, back to the CMD, and just go paste. There. Now the window says waiting for a device. And that's the line I put here, waiting for a device. So what it's waiting what it's waiting for now is for me to uh, reboot my phone. So I'm going to reboot the phone, and uh, and then I'm going to hold it up to the screen so that you can see the whole boot process. So 